everybody. Thanks for joining me today on All Things Division Three Soccer with Simple Coach and Jackie. That is Jackie, and I'm Simple Coach. So, just want to introduce you to a new series uh, that uh, popped into my head uh, call, that I'm calling very originally Fields of Dreams. So, um, if you talk to most players out there, uh, especially at the collegiate level, there is a special connection that players have with the fields that they spent four years you know, playing on, sweating on, bleeding on. And uh, so uh, I just wanted to, you know, honor that. And so I go around to different places and I'm going to try to see different schools as they're nearby wherever I happen to be meandering. So, um, uh, and I just figured I would make some quick videos of the school and where, you know, the field that, um, the, uh, the soccer field. So, uh, yeah, so that's the whole idea behind this. And, and this first one, um, that I created where I got the idea, probably couldn't have started a better way than by walking around one of the service academies, uh, the United States Coast Guard Academy in New London, Connecticut. Um, really, really impressive school, uh, even more impressive students. Uh, so uh, I hope you enjoy it. I'm using some new video software too. So, um, but just keep in mind, damn it, Jim, I am a creator, not an artist. So I don't know how it's going to turn out, but I'm trying all different sorts of stuff to make these videos a little bit more, uh, how about if I just say a little less unprofessional? So, uh, even got some little melodies going in there, you know, I'm, I'm having a good old time. So thanks again. Uh, feel free to shoot me an email. Uh, and um, sc149249 at aol.com. Uh, please post, you know, do all that stuff. Um, and thanks. Have a great day. Enjoy this one. This next trip decided to hit the uh, U.S. Coast Guard Academy, and let me tell you what a fantastic place this is. Um, right behind me is the soccer field, and there's the Thames, Thames, I don't know how they say it up here, um, river. Somewhere across the other side is the Merchant Marine Academy, which I might hit on my way to the um, Submarine Force Museum. Uh, like I said, what a spectacular place. And let me tell you something about what I noticed, how badass these kids are. Um, so I'm walking here. It is, I'm not kidding, it is frigid. It is six, seven degrees. Uh, beautiful day, but it is friggin' cold. My face is raw. I can't feel my hands. Uh, and I'm walking around. And, um, yeah, this is nothing for these guys. And they're walking around in shorts, um, going to wherever they're going. And, you know, you just realize this is probably fair weather for them and not a big deal. Um, so, anyhow, total respect for these guys. If the head coach is uh, watching, would love, just love to do an interview. Um, as I have a total respect for all the service academies. Um, I've always said that in the, you know, if I could go back and do it all over again, that um, I would, I would actually go into the military just because of the, um, you know, later in life, how much, how important they are and, you know, how selfless they are in their service to our country. So, um, anyhow, I'm going to go back down. I'm going to go down there, check out the field, stand in midfield and, and get a, get a glimpse. Uh, 
field level, and I think this must be either like a grass training field because they got a couple goals up here. Um, like I said, what an awesome place to train or play. Um, that's the river. Um, there's a really cool baseball field. That's the bridge that goes over to Mystic and Groton. And I don't know if you could see, you could just see the top of some Coast Guard cutters over there. Um, I think they're, I don't know. I don't know anything about ships. Actually, I'm a land lover and avoid ships. I'm kind of allergic to them. So, um, anyhow, that's the, that's the, um, soccer field right there with the track. I'm going to head over there right now. And uh, I don't know, I'm gonna try to incorporate, hopefully I can. I took some pictures of the football stadium, which is pretty cool as well. Um, and campus is right up up here on the top of the hill. It sort of goes up, which I'm gonna head to. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna wander some more. All right, so here I am in the center spot of the field. So that looks like to be the east end, that's that over to Groton and Mystic. Um, that's the practice field that I was just at. And whatever campus is up top, you can see some of the buildings just beyond. There's more. It's actually beautiful. I'll see if I can't get a quick video there. To get down here, it takes some wood stairs going up, or there's another one right there, which is where I was at. Um, bleachers. And yeah, the what I would guess is the west. I don't know. I'm spun around, but the west, uh, west end of the goal, and then some uh, other stuff. And there's the there's the river. Uh, it's I mean, what a spectacular place. I mean, it's obviously a beautiful day, although it's cold. Uh, this is the field where. Um, MIT this past season came and, and beat the Coast Guard, I think, by one goal to zero. And that's where I got impressed by these guys. I mean, they had a, a decent record, 12-3 and 2-3, something like that. Um, did really well. Um, the turf looks like a little bit like the old school, a little bit matted down, and it's probably super fast. Um, but, uh, yeah, what a is. I'll try to get, like I said, uh, over in the main campus just to do some quick shots or try to incorporate pictures because, you know, I'm a content creator, um, but not an artist. So, um, anyhow, all right, I'm off to go find some more. This is the front of campus. This is, I think, the parade ground. It's where they do the, raise the flag every day. So amazing place, so impressive.